Hey, welcome back to another Axe Family video. Uh, as Taylor and I are here volunteering, uh, a lot of the staff have gone home for Thanksgiving. We're doing a couple different things while they're gone to take care of the place. And they have a dog kennel with a number of different hunting dogs. They have pointers and setters and uh, retrievers in here. And my job today and tomorrow is to take care of the dogs. And so I thought it'd be cool to show you guys the kennel. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So there's lots of barking right now, but the first thing I'm doing is putting three of the dogs outside to get some exercise. All right, now that we have them exercising, we'll go feed the retrievers. Ah, yeah. <laughs> labs get fed uh, but the pointers don't and then in the evening the pointers and the labs get fed everybody gets fed in the evening this little dog here is a terrier and she's used for tracking uh, blood like a blood tracking dog. So if you get like a down deer, um, like if you wound a deer and it's going down but you need to track it, you can use this dog to help find uh, the deer. We do boldly. Hey, sit, stay, stay. Okay. Similar to Chief, it gets a lot quieter once they have food. So I'm just reading, they have like a list right here, a checklist of everything you gotta do. So I'm just reading over it, making sure. Okay. They have automatic water uh, feeders. So they each have a bowl in their kennel 
and it automatically fills itself with water. I'm just double checking to make sure that they all have water. Still going. Now I need to spray out all the kennels. So there's a drain system. As you spray out the kennels, there's this trough here, and then the drains all go down into a septic field. There are these hooks along the wall, so when you're moving the hose and dragging the hose. The hose stays out of the way and it slides back and forth really easily. And then when you go inside the kennel, you're supposed to put the hose up over the top of the door. That way it'll slide easy. So they have a long history of dog training here and competing with the dogs for different trials and right here they have an award for Grand Master Pointing Retriever and his name's Cody. A lot of the dogs that have come through here have been really excellent hunting dogs and they've been really well trained and competed, won a lot of awards and it's just cool to kind of see the history that has gone through this kennel and there's uh, six dogs here right now, but in the past, uh, they said that they would have almost all these kennels full of dogs. And that's, that's a lot of dogs to take care of and that's a lot of the dogs to train. I wanna show you a little bit more of the inside setup here. A lot of this I'm documenting just for my sake because I wanna see it. There are water lines that come in to the building. So this is a hot line, this is a cold line. So these valves go outside, which cleans the outdoor section of the kennel. And then the water lines go across the top of all the kennels. And on each kennel, there's a pipe that comes down with the ball valve, and then it goes down to an automatic water feeder, which I'll show you on this one. It's a little bit easier to see with the lighting. This one's turned off right now because there isn't a dog in this kennel, but this is what fills up with water. Turn this valve to on you can see it's starting to fill up with water and it only fills to a certain level that way the dogs will always have water it won't overflow and then as they drink it it refills itself this is what the inside of the kennel looks like there's a dog house here that's lifted up off the floor and then there's the door the swinging door that swings out so that the dogs can go outside go to the bathroom or whatever so from the inside they just push it out and then on the outside there's a little lip that they can put their nose in and open the door. If the dog decides to poop or pee on the inside, or if they're sick or something, there's a little lip right here. You could spray out the inside into this trough and then spray it down to the gutter. And this is Roper, coon dog. Yep, dog ahead. Rope. Time to bring the dogs back in. <laughs> yeah, you ready, huh? Yeah. Man, they're excited to go back in. So this evening I'll come back and I'll do close to the same thing. I don't think the pointers get exercised in the evening, but they do get fed in the evening. Let me just double check. Yep, I'll come back in the evening. The guy that's been working here for a long time, taking care of all these dogs, I asked him if there was something different about this kennel that you would change as far as design goes, of what would he do differently? And he said that the building was already built when he got here, and so there are definitely some changes that he would have done. He said the ceilings are too tall. In the winter, they heat the building, but all the heat just sits up at the ceiling. And also outside where the dogs go to the bathroom, he said he would have that cement 
at a slope. He's, right now it's flat, so the water kind of stays stagnant. It would definitely be good to have heat inside the cement. I, outside, you know, during the winter, if you're spraying down, it would freeze. It was about 20 degrees this morning when I woke up. Uh, so it's pretty cold out there. But having heat under the cement just to keep it warm uh, outside. And then on the inside, rather than heating the cement floor, uh, just have the dog boxes heated. Because he said the floor is heated on the inside here and the dogs end up just uh, sleeping on the floor instead of in the in the dog house and that gives them some calluses on their elbows and stuff. Push the subscribe button all the way in, click the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. Hit that thumb more button down below. See you in the next one. Hats off to you.